Greetings world, we are anonymous. We do not forgive, we do not forget. Expect us. On the morning of January 8th, the truck driver that was involved in the Humboldt Broncos fatal accident has pleaded guilty to 16 counts of dangerous driving causing death and 13 counts of dangerous driving causing bodily harm, making it 29 charges in all. The maximum punishment for the crimes are 14 years on each count of dangerous driving causing death and 10 years for each count of dangerous driving causing injury. Outside the court, Sidhu's lawyer read a prepared statement, saying his client feels terrible and is very sorry. His position to me was, I just want to plead guilty and I don't want to make things any worse. The lawyer went on, stating that Sidhu is devastated by the grief he's caused the families. He's overwhelmed by the expressions of sympathy and kindness that some of the families and players have expressed to him, in spite of the fact that their grief is entirely his fault. I plead guilty, your honor, said Sidhu, who was wearing a black suit with white dress shirt and tie. Sidhu's lawyer also said more evidence is still to be handed over to the defense, but his client wanted to plead guilty to avoid further delay. Sentencing is scheduled to begin January 28th in Milford, Saskatchewan, and will likely take three to five days to complete due to the number of victim impact statements expected to be entered. Security screenings will be in place for everyone entering the building. A safety review of the rural crossroads done by a consulting firm for the Saskatchewan government was released last month. It said sight lines are a safety concern at the spot, and a stand of trees, mostly on private property, obstructs the view of drivers approaching from the south and east, the same directions the bus and semi-trailer were coming from when they collided. It recommended negotiating with the landowner to remove the trees, and also suggested rumble streets larger signs and painting stop and stop ahead on the road. The Saskatchewan government further introduced in December mandatory training for semi-truck drivers. Starting in March, drivers seeking a Class 1 commercial license are to undergo at least 121.5 hours of training. The report's authors determined that six collisions had taken place at the intersection between 1,990 and 2017 and another 14 happened on roads nearby. One of those collisions was deadly. In 1997, six people were killed when a pickup truck heading east failed to stop on Highway 335 and was hit by a southbound tractor trailer. Previously, Saskatchewan government insurance accredited driving schools but training was not mandatory. We are anonymous, we don't forgive, we don't forget, expect us.